Hello everybody and welcome to another look first look at video this game is called Banners of Ruin It came out in early access about a month ago And I am finally checking it out I'd like to give a huge shout out to Goblin Studios for hooking me up with the key to the game to check out for you guys I did try to play it on one of my indie grab bag segments on stream it was the last segment of the stream that we were playing but i unfortunately had some connection issues we played only about 20 minutes of it and it didn't feel right to leave that as my official first impressions so we're going to do a youtube video on it and hope you guys enjoy it this is a tactics turn-based xcom light style game that is also a roguelite but it also is a card like a deck builder a la Slay the Spire, where you progress through a uh, quote-unquote dungeon FTL, FTL Slay the Spire style, picking up crew members. It's it's definitely one of the most unique ones we've seen in, in, in quite a while. And it's it's going it, to... Me explaining a lot of the mechanics before actually showing them is only going to confuse me and everybody else. But this is uh, in early access right now on Steam. You can go pick it up. The link is in the description below. So before we get to... Uh, confused here. Let's just uh, abandon our run that we were on. Let's start a new game. No tutorial. Let's play as the, the mouse and the bear. Okay. Excuse me, but I'd actually make sure my recording was started. OBS flickered. But we're all good. We are all good. We're good. We're alive. We're having a good time. Okay, this is the This is an event. So we have our we have our team. Let me just in introduce you to the overlay real quick. So we got Mowbury and Ruffer's Mock, which are our two characters. You can see they have experience, they have stamina, and they have what I believe they called resolve. Forgive me for getting that wrong. But you can see this is our deck. Our deck is currently 16 cards, and you can see each character has their own card. So if you go back to your characters, you can see each character has their own symbol, their own emblem. So Ruffer's Mott has this, like, four pieces of four rice cakes all intertwined. So you can see that this hatchet is actually his item. So every time he attacks, he can use the axe, and every time our bear attacks, he can use the greatsword. As well as this, his round shield... And I think the bear only gets his one card. I think the bear only gets the greatsword. But the, uh, the the mouse has the round, the round shield and the hatchet. And you can see these are all kind of your, basics, your, your basic, uh, basic cards. You've got your blocks, you've got your strikes, you've got your skills. And so what we're looking at right now is our interface, which is our basic way through... Ooh... Ooh, okay, so this is this is going to be a combat. This is going to be a provision to get a helping hand. And this is getting 250 money bucks. And you can see our money is up here. As well as our party. You can see our party. You can see their current experience, their skills, their cards that they've added to their deck. One of the cool things about this is the XCOM, stop, or the XCOM, XCOM style of thing is if your character dies, if one of your character dies, they're dead for good... And their cards that are com connected to them get removed from the deck for good. The same way that when you add a character, which we're going to do here. The same way when you add a character to your deck, you bring his cards on board. A hooded figure stops in your path. May the wind always be at your back. We get to choose a card to add to our deck. Experience strike. Deal 5 damage each time you play this card in combat. Plus 5 damage. If unplayed during cleanup... The damage is reset. Okay, kick. Select a target at the position. If the position behind them is vacant, move them into it. We'll show you what the lanes mean once we get into the actual combat. Tight formation. Each character in your rank gains 8 armor. That's so good. That's actually really good. Okay. And the road rises up to you. Rise up to meet you. Thank you. Okay, so now we've taken helping hands, so we get new cards here. Obviously, tunnel walls, tunnel walls, so we cannot go in these directions anymore. We are forced to go through this forgotten tunnel to do the combat, which will showcase the combat of the game, which is very, very fun and very cool. You emerge from the back and f or emerge from the black and find yourself in one of the guard bunks. Where the devils did you come from? You can't be here. 
And now we get combat, baby. We got three hares. No, wait, we got two hares and a mouse. So you can see the militia spearmen have 16 health and 6 armor. That's a lot. This guy has 8 and 6. Dang! Okay, okay, okay. So we started out with the round shield. Spawns a tank cover. The tank cover gives you apply 5 armor to an ally. And then banish. Banish is basically your exhaust from Slay the Spire. Uh, so the thing with this game that I really adore is it combines the deck building uh, aspects to the XCOM aspects. So in XCOM you have turn order, you have movement points, and you have action points, right? In Spire, you have mana. In deck builders, traditionally, you have a, an amount of mana or energy you can use to spend, uh, spend on cards. When that's all exhausted, you pass your turn. And in XCOM, when all your stuff is passed, you can pass your turn and then it's onto the alien's turn. In this, it's a mix of both. Every card has a cost, but the cost is based on your character's skill, your, your character's levels and their points. So this guy has three stamina and one, I'm going to call it resolve, I'm probably wrong on the glossary term. And then our mouse dude has two and one. So you can see all of these cost just stamina, none of them cost any of the blue. So we can call, we can play several of these. Hmm. If we deal three, if we deal 12 damage and apply a bleed to him... These guys are both attacking our mouse. That's not good. So let's have him... Let's have him use the round shield. And then on him, we'll give him some armor as well. So now we have 24 armor and 11 armor on these guys, which is very good. Because these guys are only doing 8. You can see they're... they're uh, Intense on the bottom. They're gonna attack for eight, 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 and then now he only has one result, one stamina left. So we're gonna actually use this on him. So he's down to four, and now we can go up to this guy. Deal five, and then we can do the the bleed and the twelve damage to one of these guys, and then we have to pass our turn. But as you can see, there are ranks. There's two ranks, two lanes in each combat. And those each have their own thing. Ooh, this is really good for the, the great sword. Is there any way we can do anything else? Pacify. This character can not play cards. Six down by one each turn. Ooh, that's a cool effect. I don't know that one. Solid footing. So you gain a ton of block, but you can't play cards for the rest of the turn. Okay. I don't think we're going to need that this combat, but that's a really good card. Each character in your rank gets eight. Again, I don't think we're going to need that. These guys intend to attack for bleed. So I think for starters, you you start out with this. Start out with a the greatsword. He's only gonna deal six and a bleed, so realistically we can end this without taking any damage. I think damage also carries over between fights. I might be wrong on that, but. So you deal rush a bunch of damage and then you're gonna give me tight formation we'll pass turn okay, so bleed does go through armor as you're seeing here and then I think we just instantly strike strike but also there's this card a card gain three momentum or gain three charge excuse me the next time this character attacks for every attack in a multi attack the damage is increased by every stack I love this effect. This would have been great with that, uh, the rush here. Because it would have been, if you do charge before this, you're doing nine damage instead of three. And it's a zero cost card. You you trade one discard for a stacks of damage. Ooh, on the start of turn, if this character has three or more allies, their, their armor is raised to ten. That's really good. Start each combat with 6 armor, gain a stamina every turn. Okay, so he intends to attack for 10, we're just gonna kill him. He is dead, we have one victorious. 126 florins, and now we can gain a card, similar to your Slay the Spire. Bloodlust, deal 3 damage, if target dies, draw 3. I like quick hands, so preparation is one of my favorite aspects of this game. Preparation gives you additional 
draw for every stack of prep. So if you have three prep, your next turn you draw three extra, extra cards, and the turn after that you draw two extra cards, and the turn after that you draw one extra card before resetting back to normal. It is one of the coolest effects I've seen in a deck builder, for sure. You gotta take Bloodlust, though. Seems extremely good. Seems just extremely good. And now we go to a new setting of... Oh no. Still Tunnel Walls. So now we gotta go to... Enter the City. Small hatchway leads to the damp dark chamber behind a city wall for House Blackfoot. Let's go. You open the hatch and enter the city. Combat, combat, combat. Real heroes go left. Let's go. Two mice dealing eight damage right off the get-go. We have a great sword active. And we also have a tight formation, which will instantly block... So we have, a, we have a type of formation, which is going to instantly block all the damage they're intending to do, and then we can great sword to get through their armor. And I think we just strike. Because these guys are going to gain a stamina every turn. Which shouldn't affect us. As long as they don't hit us with a bleed, we should be able to just win this fight handily. He did move... Ah, uh, well, you know, there's our bleed. God dang it. Okay. Deal three damage if it kills, draw three. Boy, oh boy, would I love to not have all this crap in my hand right now. Okay. Bear with me here. Discard. Guard. Discard guard. So now he has recharge. Deal bloodlust to this man. We draw three. Ooh, I would have loved to have charge on this one, too, because that would have almost been a kill here. You have no armor. So you have to use round shield. Just to block that, even though you're going to still take bleed here. But we actually can kill you. Hold on. No, we can't. We can get close. Vigor. The next time this card loses stamina, or this character loses stamina, it's re refunded and removed. Okay, so let's actually draw a card and gain, and then kill. Easy does it. 85 florins and gain a card. Sunder for two. Deal five damage to armor. For every three stacks of vulnerable on opponent, deal an additional 15 damage to armor. Wow, okay. Draw and gain three prep. I do like having another sharpened steel in deck. I'm not going to lie. That is very good on our bear, dude. Blackfoot contact. Chance to heal. Crazy weasel. Weasel battles at passerby. Splattering them with spittle from his foaming mouth. He clearly is alarmed about struggling to make sense. <laughs> Overzealous guards. A pair of guardsmen are rounding on a black bear. Oh, so we can probably get another bear, bear friend, maybe chance to heal we don't need to heal let's go let's go try and defend this black bear dude you hear two towns guardmen hurling abuse at a local black bear she's probably a spy they jeer you can see her visibly distressed when they begin to wave their weapons at her threatening like dude do you leave her the fuck alone no no we're fighting them we're fighting them get out of here leave her alone he oh my god 32 and 30 Holy crap. Yeah, use this. We gotta take out the smaller guy. Take out the smaller guy first, and I think we're gonna be fine. Holy crap, okay. Deal three damage if they die, draw three again. So let's, uh... Apply five armor to target ally, move and swap them to target position. No, that doesn't actually help us here. So what we're going to do here... We just have to sharpen steel this man. Oh, we got to kill this guy. We got to kill him. It's it's such an overkill, though, to do that. No, put that back. Gain armor. 
Withdraw. Stay there. I just want the armor. And then you are going to sharpen steel him. And then honestly, just... It sucks that we have to waste that, but... It sucks that we have to waste that, but it is what it is. This is going to be a tough fight, especially if he starts doing bleed. Here's exactly what we want. Okay, so you... Momentum? Let's discard... The basic strike. Now you gain charge. We're going to be able to deal multi-attack here for nine. Very good attack here. Draw a card and gain vigor. Are you being attacked? No, he's being attacked. So we want to do that on him. Solid footing. That's really good. That's 10 damage there, and then you're going to solid footing for a turn. Very good. Because he's being attacked right now, but he's not getting a bleed yet. Cowardice. Gains 10 armor, moves adjacent to closest ally, so... Wait, what? If no ally in rank moves or swaps to other rank in their lane and suffers 20 damage... So wait, if he's... Wait, he's just going to gain 20 damage because he has no allies. He's literally just taking damage right now. Okay, you draw a card, gain a charge. Or, uh, uh, Vigor, excuse me. Twelve damage, four bleed. Five strike. Round shield. Take cover. Easy does it. We actually don't even need to play any of that other stuff. He's going to take 4 damage on bleed. He's going to move and then take 20 damage? I must have misread that. I must have misread that. But you're... You're definitely dead. So I'm going to great sword you. Yeah. I'm going to deal 10 damage. Very easy. Okay, now we leveled up 2 levels. I've actually, I've actually haven't leveled my guys up before. So this is a first for me. I haven't leveled them up before. Another solid footing could be good. Deal three of vitality damage for every stack of bleed. Ooh, it's so expensive though. It costs my entire bear's turn. Let's take the experience strike. Leveled up, okay. So now we... Oh, I did level him up. I just barely did it. Okay, so I'm going to give you an extra stamina. And then we get to add a character card for him. A talent, as it were. For two, apply five bleed and draw two. That's so good. Gain two stamina for each status effect on opponent cards. Exertion. Pick one card from your discard to move to hand. Gain exertion. The next card this character plays... The next card this character plays is banished. What is gain exertion? I don't know. Let's do the bleed. Apply five bleed and draw a card. Seems extremely good. Uh, you're going to get a stamina or will. It's a will. Okay, so stamina upgrade. Toxic cascade. Apply toxic cascade. Whenever a target opponent gains a status, they also gain two poison. So poison in this game is the opposite of Slay the Spire. It is extremely strong. Poison this ticks up every turn. It's a Magic the Gathering type of poison. Deal damage equal to the stacks of poison at the start of next turn. Increase by each. Deals damage equal to the stacks of poison at the start of each turn. Increase by each. Okay, so restore 15 HP, but you gain 2 poison. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a last-ditch heal. Natural selection if a target opponent has more health than active character draw a card. If less health, discard a card. Yeah, let's do Toxic Cascade. That seems extremely good. You hear a yelp after the short but bloody scuffle concludes. I wasn't here. I don't know you. I didn't see you. She runs off. Honestly, I'm okay with this. 
the back alley, select a lane, remove the two. Wait. See a narrow gap in the side of the street, obscured by passerby. It looks quiet and unguarded. Select a lane, remove the two next card, the next two cards. A hundred experience. I'm gonna take the hundred experience, man. Select a card, move it to this lane, a plus one to its counter. Off-duty guards, quick round. Heal party by 50%. We don't need to heal. Ooh. Enter an elite combat. You know what? Let's give it a try. We're 20 minutes into the video. Let's give it a try. Look at that animation. Look at that animation. There you are. A voice declares as you emerge from a shifting back alley. Run. Them. Down. Got a bad feeling about this. Fight them. Or we can lose them all. Party takes 15% max. Let's fight them. What is an elite fight in this game? Oh my god. 12, 12, 12, 10, 10. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Patch at him. It broke armor, you get charge. Use momentum, you get more charge. Discard the guard. Oh, we're dead. That wolf is 94 and he's gaining armor every attack. He gains armor every attack. Holy crap, okay. So hit him with this. And then hit him with this. So he gains poison because I gave him a status effect. Guard. Strike. Lord, we, we're not going to even kill one of these guys. So he'll be dead very soon. He'll be dead next turn. God dang it. Yeah, this was a rough, rough one, man. You're not actually getting hit.
You're getting hit for one, though. Oh, never mind. You're getting hit for a lot more than that because he's got charge on him. Okay. So, Mouse is dead. I almost, almost guaranteed you're dead. I can't, I can't survive this. Unless I kill one of these guys, which I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I mean, I, I saw this coming. Let's be fair. I did see this coming, but... Criminy. No, okay, okay. I can't play it because he's dead. At least kill one guy. And he's doing a slash that hits the entire rank. Oh my god. <laughs> Defeat. 80 experience to the next tier. I don't know what that means. What does continue? Oh, continues grayed out. Well, that's... I mean, I'd like to go for another run, but I don't know how long they are. Like, that one was only, like, 25 minutes, but... I feel like I've honestly done a good enough job showing you guys what... Oh my god, the warrior? The priest? What is a fanatic token? Whenever this character takes damage from bleed, they gain one will? That seems so good. At the start of a turn, attacks all stacks of poison on the character are converted to vitality and removed? Whenever this character, the wolf, attacks... Or whenever this character banishes a card, they gain charge equal to the stamina and will cost. Oh my god. Yo, okay. Next tier. So tiers must be like additional like oh my god. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play a lot of this game. If you guys are interested in this game, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Of course, hit it with a like if you enjoyed the video. You've been watching for 25, 26 minutes. I appreciate the likes and the comments. Always subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends, share it with everybody who think might be interested. Uh, I'd like to get this channel back and growing again, so if you guys would help with that part, that would be amazing. Although, I'm just glad to have those who are watching, watching. This has been Banners of Ruin. Again, thank you very much, Goblin Studio. I'm probably going to be streaming this game. I might even do a YouTube, like, a mini-series on it. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really, uh, excited about this game's early access phase. So, Monte Barrow, good job. This is how you do a card, a deck builder slash, like, XCOM blend very, very well. Congratulations on the game so far, and best of luck in the rest of Early Access. Thank you guys for watching.